Reasonable faith, another oxymoron. I'm talking about a revolution that has been going on in the academy, particularly in philosophy departments. For those of you who don't know, this moron is William Lane Craig, a Christian apologist famous for advocating a particularly dumb piece of idiocy known as the Kalam Cosmological Argument. But that'll have to wait for another day. Today, he has a completely different particularly dumb argument to make. The new atheism is not an academic movement. It is a movement in pop culture. And the proponents of the new atheists atheism are not sophisticated um, thinkers, but rather they are cultural figures influencing a popular movement. Do I even need to say anything to this? How come so many of them are people like Richard Dawkins, respected scientists working in academia? How come only 7% of members of the National Academy of Sciences believe in God? And in fact, in the academic realm, many of them have been roundly denounced by um, academic philosophers and science scientists. Oh God, you're gonna make me do it, aren't you? All right, hold on, here we go. Now let's see, where did I put that? Uh, oh yeah, it's over here behind Phobos. All right, hold on just one second. All right, here it comes in, incoming. All right, now. Just go around the back here and turn it on, and... For their naive scientism and verificationism. Oh, God. It's not verificationism. It's the exact opposite. It's Popperian falsifiability. These men are typically not aware of the revolution that has transpired in philosophy. They're not aware that the positivism and verificationism is now obsolete and regarded as untenable. William Lane Craig is a liar! He knows perfectly well that Parperian falsifiability, which is the basis of new atheism, is a rejection of positivism. In fact, Karl Popper's 1959 book, The Logic of Scientific Discovery, was pretty much a no-holds-barred attack on positivism. New atheism is based on falsifiability. This is where someone who posits an idea has to be able to defend it by coming up with some kind of test that can be falsified. People who are skeptical or doubtful of it don't have to do anything. So if you're going to come along saying that there's this being called God and we don't believe you, it's up to you to prove it. And so you have this pop cultural movement that is going on in quite the opposite direction of the academic movement. No, that's you, Craig. And my hope is that over time, this academic movement will increasingly filter down into popular culture and begin to affect popular culture as well. Oh, that's the last thing you want. Because the popular culture isn't familiar with Popperian falsifiability. And Popperian falsifiability eliminates all of the arguments you have for God. None of them withstand any scrutiny when viewed in a logical or scientific context or when examined using the methods of rationality. So that would be how I would explain these seemingly different currents um, that you see in pop culture versus in the academy. Oh, I think there's a much simpler explanation for that. You're talking crap. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit like and subscribe? And to make sure I can keep producing content, support this channel by becoming a patron. And check out all the other great content here, like this video selected especially for you.